Hi guys and welcome back to the Teacher Made channel. Today on our SPED talk, we are going to talk about, that's right, no talking, how to give a child a warning or remind them to be quiet when you're working in a classroom that struggles to keep quiet, so stick around. Hi guys, my name is Channel and I'm a special education teacher and I'm licensed to teach K through 12 and also I work with children in pre-K. So today we're going to talk about some non-verbal reminders and rewards of how to get the child or children inside the classroom to do the work without, yeah, talking. You don't want them to talk at all. So no talking. These are all nonverbal strategies, so let's jump right into the video. So the first one is proximity, and proximity is when you get close to the child. Sometimes when you get close to the child, they get, I want to say kind of intimidated to get started or to do their work right away. So what you're going to do is you're going to get close to the child, say they're sitting in their desk, you're going to get close to them and kind of just kind of hover over them slightly and they'll just start right away on their work now like i said some of these techniques that i'm getting ready to explain may work on some children they may not but at the end of the day i believe if you build a good relationship with your students everyone knows that these techniques will work number two teacher pause i'll wait so you probably heard a teacher said that before personally i don't say that but you have had that one teacher in your life or seen another one of your colleagues or parent who has just paused and just stood there like this and gave you um, some type of stare or just stood there and wanted you to get started on their work. So teacher pause is another nonverbal reminder of getting any student to get back to on their work or whatever they need to work on. Once they see that your paws are like, hey, like this teacher means business, I need to get back to doing my work. Number three, pointing to students' work. Now, I'm a big fan of this. Um, when working in the EBD classroom, emotional behavior disorder classroom, um, I would just point to their work like this, but I would also put my finger over my mouth like this and they knew right away that hey i wasn't playing we need to you know do this to transition to the next activity and we need to do it in a timely fan fam yeah sorry guys a timely manner to get it done so just pointing to their work um tapping on their desk you know telling them that you know you're not telling them it's just a nonverbal way of like hey like we need to get this done um number four giving them an incentive while catching them in the act of doing something good. So anytime you see a child doing anything that's positive behavior or coming into a positive reinforcement from a bad reinforcement, you wanna make sure that you reward them immediately. So when working in the classroom, me and my assistants, anytime we immediately caught them doing something good, we would reward them immediately with um, some money so they can put inside their bank or if it was a whole class thing we would put some marbles inside the marble jar and that's a whole nother video that I talked about so I'll drop those links down below of those incentives and I also wrote a blog about it as well so I'll drop that link down there as well so anytime you catch your child and like I said you can do this at home for parents who are watching you see them doing some immediately have them have immediately reward them right away and give them something so you can give them money um pbis money um a small tree or whatever positive reinforcement that you use inside your classroom hand signals now i've seen a lot of teachers use hand signals i know this one classroom that i work with now one is a um verbal warning the teacher didn't say anything all she did was just held up one finger the students knew that that meant a warning two was i'm gonna have to write in your behavior log and three was i'm gonna have to call your parents so like i said without me even saying anything all i did was had to hold up one finger and the students knew that hey i needed to you know change my behavior around 
stop talking, immediately get to work, or, you know, she's going to call my parent or do whatever, you know, whatever the consequence may be. And the last one is the famous one is the teacher stare. I know a lot of teachers have a teacher stare. Parents have a teacher stare. Wherever you go, um, there's always a stare. Now, I'm not going to do my stare on here, but the teacher stare, I believe, is a good technique. If, Like I said, if you have already built that relationship with your students, they know that, hey, this teacher isn't playing. My teacher isn't playing around. I need to get to work. I need to do my work right away before he or she, you know, whatever the consequence may be or hey she doesn't like me doing this he doesn't like me you know talking so much so i need to get done but whatever i need to get done right away so the teacher stare is by far my favorite one because like i said once you build that relationship with your students they can read all of your facial expressions and as well as your body language so i hope these non-verbal reminders or warnings or however you want to call it work for you and like i said you can do this in the classroom or you can do this at home to get the child to no talking in classroom or you not talking but you giving them non-verbal reminders don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel thank you